Hello, welcome to another episode of Perfectly Imperfect. Today we are going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul, and it is magnificent as usual. Um, make sure to like this this um, video if you guys enjoy it, and let me know if you'd like to see other hauls. And also, if you like this kind of thing, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you guys don't miss out on anything. Let's just jump right in. The first things that I got were these beautiful scarves. I got two. I got one that looks like this. And then the other one that I got, um, this one looks like it has like little des geometric designs on it and um, things like that. This one has feathers on it and I just fell in love with this one. And I did only find two that I really liked. They had several more, um, but these actually I am gathering up as I find them that I like to make a set of, um, I guess, bohemian curtains to go in my living room. So every time I find something like this that I really, really like, I pick these up. And who can beat a dollar for those? Um, just to get the necessity stuff out of the way, I did pick up a couple of batteries this time because... Um, Every time I go to get batteries, somebody in the house has run off with them. And the Dollar Tree is one of the only places that I actually buy batteries. And I try to get um, the Sunbeam because they seem to last a little bit longer for me. So I picked up AAA and AA of these. The next thing that I got, I actually saw as a DIY on another YouTube channel. And if I can find that again, I will link her channel below. But it was just a quick little um, craft that you can do with these little colanders. Aren't they adorable? So she pretty much was gonna use this on her sink to put her sponge and things like that in. I have a different purpose for it, but I'm gonna be doing it very similar to her. Um, and all you need is a candlestick and look how perfectly that fits on there. Now you will want to take um, the hot glue and kind of close up these holes in the bottom if you're going to use it around your sink or anything like that. Put anything wet in here just so that it doesn't leak through. But I'm going to be using mine for dry products so I don't really have to worry too much about that. So I did pick up two of these. Because if I really like this, I'm going to try to make it for someone else, too, because I think my daughter would love it. So I got two of those, and I've just picked up two of the regular um, glass candle holders that the Dollar Tree sells. The next items that I picked up are also, you probably see these every summer at the Dollar Tree, Mighty Dollar, all over the place. It is some solar lights. I absolutely love these and I saw another craft that I really wanted to do and all you do is you just take and unscrew the top off of the solar light and then you take these cute little mason jars that says homemade um, these are tea light lanterns and then and I got of course I picked up these as well at the Dollar Tree and then what you're going to do is you're just going to tear off the um, part that holds the tea light and then just stick it right down in there. And of course the tea light is still in this one so it's a little wobbly but it fits perfectly without the tea light. And then I can hang these from the tree in my yard. So I did pick up three actually but one I've already been testing out. So I picked up three of these and then three of these. And these are going to be hanging like little tea li um, like little solar lanterns around the trees in my yard and I thought that would be so cute. The next items that I got are you've got you guys have seen these before. I just picked up some more succulents. Anytime I find these at the Dollar Tree now, I try to pick up some because when I wanted them the last time, 
I couldn't find them. They had none. They had sold out. So they are, my, at least my Dollar Tree is starting to get these back in. So I picked up this one. This one. I got two of this one. And these are great for little floral designs and little decorations that you're going to do. And I got this one and this one. And if any of you have gone to Hobby Lobby or anywhere else looking for these little bitty like potted succulents, you know just how expensive they are. So to get them at the Dollar Tree for a buck, yeah. The next item I got was just for my planners or for the house. I got these bright pink labels. I've seen the black ones, I've seen blue, I've seen um, like a brownish color, but my Dollar Tree hasn't had these pink ones before, so I did want to pick these up, and these are great to use in your planner, to label, I mean, just anything, um, and so yeah, I just picked up one. The next thing that I got, I got for my daughter because she is about to leave for college, and it's just this little phone stand, and I thought she would absolutely love it. And it says, every now and then I fall apart. And it has a picture of a little taco. And it's just something that you can, like, sit your phone in beside your desk or on your desk or beside your bed. And I just thought she would absolutely love that. The next thing that I picked up was this little notebook that says Gypsy Spirit. I love packing these little notebooks around with me in my purse, um, and I think these are the perfect size because I write really, really large whenever I'm writing. Um, so anytime I have any ideas or any craft ideas or uh, story ideas or just random notes that I need to remember, and if I don't have my planner with me for some reason, I jot it down in here and I have it with me all the time. Okay, the last few items that I got are my absolute favorite finds that I think I have ever found at the Dollar Tree. I am obsessed with stones and gemstones and different rocks and things like that. So when I found these, my heart literally, it almost stopped. These are the cutest, most amazing things that I have seen. And they are wall hooks that look like geodes. How amazing is that? Now, you guys probably remember me um, hauling the last time I got the little plaques that sat on a desk or on a table or something that had little sayings in them. These are from the same line, but they're wall hooks. I love them. I have seen, since I picked these up, I have seen other YouTubers haul these, and I know that they have like a bluish colored one, but I could not find that one anywhere. These are the only two that I've been able to find, so I did pick up both kinds that I could find at my Dollar Tree, but I'm going to keep looking for the blue one because I want every single one of them. Oh, I forgot about these. Um, I did pick up, you know, me and my Dollar Tree stickers. I got this one, and I got this one. I love using these to decorate my planner, um, to do my scrapbooking and things like that with, as you guys know. So I did pick these up, and I just absolutely love that little bite. Is that not cute? Anyhow. Okay, back to the awesome, amazing stuff. So... I found these dream catchers and they are keychains, but obviously you can hang them up anywhere. And I love dream catchers. I, I do. I love dream catchers. And I thought these were really super awesome. So I got a brown one, a pink one, and a blue one. Now, I will probably keep the blue one and the brown one, and I'll probably give the purple one, actually, to my oldest daughter, because I think she may like it. But I like to pick up little things like this throughout the year, <clears throat> because these make great little gift basket items. Um, also, stocking stuffers and things like that. So, I did pick up one of each of these, but 
I may actually keep these two for myself, but we'll see. The next items, speaking of Christmas gifts, that I found I thought were super, 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 super awesome. I found these mugs. When I'm going to have a cup of coffee or a cup of hot cocoa, I don't want some little bitty teeny tiny cup. I want something that I can actually get some coffee into or some hot chocolate into or even a, a good cup of hot tea. This is, this is it. And I love the patterns that they have on here. So I picked up one of these and I just happened to find these. I was actually looking for something completely different whenever I went down that aisle and these were the last ones that my Dollar Tree had so I was really excited. So I got the yellow and it has this um, little design on it. I got a blue one. I just, oh, uh, that yellow one though and this one. The green one and they all three have different designs but they're all pretty much the same um, set like I guess they go together but they are okay so it says it's distributed by Walmart so these are actually Walmart brand I guess cups for a buck I love them but again they'll make a great little coffee basket for a holiday for Christmas or for a birthday or something for somebody because I have mugs out the wazoo uh, <laughs> so I probably won't be able to use them but they make great Christmas presents for the coffee drinkers or tea drinkers out there so I got a set of those I did find these little wooden plaques with the canvas over it this one says imagine and then this one says love. And my daughter, she's young and, and she doesn't have a lot of decorations for her house and things like that. So I thought these would be really, really cute to get for her so that she has nice things that she can decorate her house with. And it didn't break the bank. So I picked these up for her. And the last but not least items that I found, I really, really wanted two of each of these. Unfortunately, my Dollar Tree did not have two of each. They had one of each one of these and a broken one. It was broke. So, I got what I could, but I'm going to keep looking because I really want to make some bookends with these. So I found this little animal. I don't know what it's supposed, I think it's supposed to be like an antelope or jackalope or maybe something like that or maybe a, I don't know. But it's cute and I love it. I got the rhino in gold. That was the only ones that they had, which I like the gold color, so that worked out really well and then the one that I'm most excited about the elephant I love this little guy how cute would this be to make a book uh, like a book ends a set of book ends out of right I think it would look really 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 cute and really expensive so but I did only find one of each of those. So I am going to keep an eye out. That is everything that I got for this haul. If you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to hit that like button. And let me know if there's other stores that you guys want to see hauls from or shop with me's or anything like that. Or if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see on this channel. Make sure to leave a comment below and let me know. And until next time, bye!